I like just bought some and tried it. I was like, this is delicious. Yeah, love it. Hi, I'm Stephanie Izard. You may know me from my restaurant, Girl and the Goat. Welcome to making the most of your meals. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really fun version of grilled beef and broccoli. Lots of layers of flavor going on, some pickles, really accentuating the beef and celebrating all of the amazing flavor. Then we're gonna take those leftovers, chop them up, put them inside of a fresh made steam bun. So quick and simple and delicious. Great way to use up your leftovers and your family's gonna love it. My mom used to make us have leftovers nights on like Thursday nights and I hated leftovers nights because it was just like go take the same meal over again. Leftovers don't have to be boring. Instead of just taking the same meal and giving it to your family again, recreate it, turn it into something new, truly amazing. And what better way to do it than with beef? We are gonna make beef and broccoli that's very budget friendly. We're using a chuck steak, which often you think of chuck as just being ground for burgers, super delicious. By taking the steak, you get to celebrate all of the marbling that's throughout the chuck steak, get it caramelized for our beef and broccoli, and then to top that off, instead of just eating the leftovers, we're gonna chop it all up and turn it into a filling for some amazing steam buns, make it into something even more fun. What we're gonna do is slice it pretty thin when we're grilling it. So what I've done with this is frozen it for about 15 minutes, just long enough that it gets a firm texture, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier for us to slice it about a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bowl so I can get it all marinated. I actually brought one of my own marinades. This little goat went to Hong Kong. This is filled with ginger, um, nice aromatics, a little bit of fresh mint. I love that flavor. And you can use one of your favorite marinades as well. I've got some steamed broccoli right here. It's already been steamed. It makes it grill a little bit easier. Just a pinch of pepper. Now we're talking. But we're gonna make a mayonnaise-based sauce. I think that mayonnaise should just be one of the major food groups. We're gonna take our marinade and add it to some mayonnaise. All right, so the broccoli's looking pretty good. I've got some nice color on there. Set our broccoli aside, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the beef. Kind of carefully put on each piece. It takes a minute, but you wanna get each piece on there to be able to get it caramelized instead of just dumping the whole thing at once. By doing this at high heat, it's letting us cook it really fast but it'll probably end up at about a medium, which is great for this cut of meat. And that is it, how quick and easy was that? I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the meat, toss up our beef and our broccoli. Oh, it is so good. Good job. You can't mess up. I think that's what makes it so great. It's like melt in my mouth delicious. But what I'm gonna do right now is show you how to make a second dish out of all of these ingredients, taking little bits, chopping them up, mixing them together, and putting them inside of fresh steam buns. Okay, now it's time to make some steam buns. It's super soft and tender, and on the inside, there's different types of meat filling. And what we're gonna do is take the leftovers from our beef and broccoli, chop it all up, and make a delicious filling that'll be right inside of the steam bun when you rip it open. So delicious. So first thing, we're gonna make our dough. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of milk and cream, and I'm just putting it in a pot to make it very lightly warmed up, almost to um, a room temperature. Let me just give this a little, add in our egg three parts of bread flour to one part of all-purpose flour. Um, and then we have some active dry yeast. Just enough salt. To, oh, my sugar, so important. Gonna put my dough hook on, and we're gonna let this go for about 15 minutes on about number five if you're using your mixer. So I'm gonna actually let this proof in my Instant Pot. It's just a nice, easy way to control temperature. So we're gonna let it go for about an hour. This looks beautiful. So you can see it's definitely doubled in size. We're gonna go ahead and cut this into 16 pieces. Kind of do a little inverting on itself. Turn that folded side down, and then you're just gonna roll it like this. So they don't need to be perfect. Cover them in plastic and let them kind of hang out and relax. So I chopped up the beef and broccoli. I chopped up a little bit of the pickles. And I've got some of the mayonnaise left over. I'm gonna add in some of the pickles for those pickle notes. And what's nice is because we did this sort of secondary sauce with the mayonnaise, we're gonna put just enough on here to be like a really light binder. And then I'm just gonna add in a little bit of our crunchy topping. Okay, so I have let these rest for about 10 minutes until they feel nice and fluffy and ready to go. It makes them super easy to work with. I'm gonna take my bun and flip it over and smush around the outside. Um, but my general rule of thumb, try to get as much in there as you can and still get it sealed. Um, but you just don't want your filling to come out. Then you're gonna take the sides and kind of work them around the filling. Super easy to play with. It really, truly does feel almost like Play-Doh. And you can see I'm just kind of pinching it together. And then over here I have some boiling water and I have a steamer basket with a little bit of pan spray. And we're gonna put them inside and we're just gonna let that steam away for about 10 minutes and they'll be super nice and fluffy and delicious.
All right, guys, here we have it. So we have our chuck steak that we sliced in, we grilled, we turned it into this super fun play on beef and broccoli. Then we took that, took little bits of our mayonnaise, the pickles, the crunchy, everything, mixed it up, put it inside of a fresh made steam bun, topped it with a little bit of chili crunch to add a little bit of extra crunch, a little bit of spice. I just can't wait to dig in. Here I go. Get a little bit of my sauce. Mm-hmm. As I'm chewing, all those layers of flavor come out. But the meat, you can taste the marbling that's caramelized on the grill with the marinade. And that little bit of pickle and a little bit of crunch that just makes it even better. Let's see how it tastes inside of one of these steam buns. It's soft, it's a little bit sweet. It's delicious, crunchy, spicy. You can taste the beef and broccoli, but almost not recognize it. It's the same meal as the day before. Such a fun way to use leftovers. It's almost more fun than the first dish. I can't really decide which one I like better. Beefy, yummy goodness. Mm. If you want to watch me and some other great chefs make the most of more incredible meals, go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com. I think beef just goes anywhere, anytime, whether it's burgers on a holiday with your friends outside on the grill, or you're making an amazing steak, or you're roasting it off for the holidays. It's something that you can have every night of the week or for holidays or for anything. So many different cuts of beef. Am I gonna make some skewers to throw on the grill? Do I wanna grab ground meat and make a simple sauce for my pasta? There's just endless possibilities and always delicious.